the California Democratic Party convention debating the We Hate Israel plank written by an Arab Islamic. I don't think the mainstream media has picked up on this, Barry, so why don't you just uh, give us a little bit of information on it? Well, as you know, Amy, the great percentage of the Democratic Party has lurched so far left, it's almost unrecognizable. Uh, I read the other day that normal Democrats today would consider John Kennedy, um, who's generally acknowledged as the most popular Democratic president, they consider him a Republican Absolutely. today. The progressive left wing has gotten so far left that they literally had a half a dozen planks in the Democratic state platform to send to the national platform about how bad Israel is, how discriminatory there was. I, 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 what I'm going to tell you is just outrageous, Amy. There was a plank that was going to blame the Pittsburgh shooting on anti-Semitism, get this, caused by Israel and Donald Trump. Now, never mind the fact that the shooter hated Trump, was a white supremacist, and hated Jews. The plank was Israel caused it. <laughs> For, you can't I know, make it up, so, can you? It's like Mad Magazine, you know, and you're thinking, Barry's making this up. No, viewers, viewers of this show, please Google it. It's really there. That's you, what they wanted. You think and you're reading an article from The Onion or something? It, it's, it's satirical, like it's Saturday Night Live. Thank goodness it was defeated. And the people that wrote it, most of whom had Arab names, were furious that their party would not see fit to blame a massacre of Jews on, get this, Jews. So Barry, being the normal person, what, what was a plank and what does it mean and what happens now? Well, it, it, you know, it, it, it's the guiding political mm -hmm. force of the party in California. Um, the All the progressives were there, uh, Elizabeth Warren and Cory Booker and uh, Mayor Buttigieg and mm -hmm. so on, all condemning Trump condemning capitalism, advocating for social programs and socialism. And uh, you see the result of their programs walk down the street in San Francisco or Los Angeles, and you're stepping in it. That's what they want nationwide. And uh, we'll see what happens as the plank moves to the Democratic Convention coming up soon. But real quick, go going back to the London thing, Barry, you and I were chatting during the break about how fair and neutral the British press, which is sometimes they're very hyperbolic, you know, they've got all these fancy headlines and and uh, they shout their headlines almost like the National Enquirer sometimes. They're sort of known for that, some of the, their biggest publications. But they've been pretty fair to President Trump, perhaps even more fair than the United States of America mainstream media. Yeah, that's a really good point, Amy. Uh, if you read the British press and compare it article by article, subject by subject with the American press, you would swear you're talking about a different year and a different trip. <laughs> BBC, yeah. The Times, um, the major news sources coming out of London are all fairly complimentary of Trump's visit, of his support for the royal family, of his support for Brexit, of his support for a stronger trade alliance between the UK and the United States. Uh, he got props for causing NATO to come up with more money. Remember that threat last year, which paid off handsomely uh, for the United States in terms of contributions. And yet you read the mainstream media and you would think uh, people were literally in the streets shooting at our president. It is so different as if to say it's a different story from a different time. Um, and yet it isn't. And as Trump often says, don't believe it's fake news. You need to check other sources because it seems, as best as I can tell, Trump did a wonderful job in uh, in London and uh, later uh, up north. And he is um, commemorating D-Day mm -hmm. and uh, doing so to great support for American uh, troops, both now and then that gave their lives to protect us from the Nazi hordes during World War II. So well done for the president and uh, apparently well received in uh, the UK, notwithstanding the American press saying it was a horrible failure.
<laughs> Indeed, as you say, under these darts from the, the mainstream press in America, he and Melania going there, and you know some of those headlines were made up before he even landed there. Melania would be on the cover of every magazine in America, especially the fashion ones, Barry, if she were a Democrat. I mean, come on. No question. No yeah. question. She's a classy lady. People make fun of her. She speaks more languages than 99.999% right. of the American population, and they think she's stupid. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> Says more about them than her. Um, so we did have a victory in federal court. Uh, federal court um, allowed President Trump, you can take money from here and put it toward the border wall. And so he's trying to keep us safe. We had one of the worst months for an in influx of illegals in, in the month of May than we've had in some 12 years. So, you know, he's, he's telling Mexico, we're going to put tariffs on you unless you try to, to stop some of this migration up here that is, is a, it's a security crisis, and moreover, the whole world can agree it's a humanitarian crisis. We can't process all the people. It's standing room only. Children can't even lie down. I, I liken this to what I mentioned a minute ago, Amy, when Trump threatened NATO, saying, do what you're supposed to do or we're pulling out. Everyone thought, oh my gosh, he's insane. The sky is falling. NATO will collapse. Instead, what they did was, you're right, and some of them have quadrupled their contribution to their own defense. He's doing the same thing with Mexico, Amy. It's a felony to enter Mexico illegally. Mm. They used to lock people up forever for doing it, and now they're waiving their laws and giving them safe transit to the United States southern border. All Mexico has to do, Amy, is make a decision. We're gonna close our southern border, and this crisis stops Trump wins again. Barry, you're right. Don't discount the art of the deal. Barry Newsbaum with the American Truth Project. Can't thank you enough. We will see you next time.